I made a prediction in 2016. You might have ignored it then. Do not ignore it now because it turned out to be extremely accurate. And I've got a new prediction. So listen very carefully. Time is of the essence. People don't realize what's the number one factor that creates wealth, that creates financial independence? Catching new trends early. So always be on the lookout for new trends. So in 2016, October 2016, I made an announcement to the world. You probably saw videos. People go, oh, Ty, these videos are everywhere. Yep, I was making the prediction. I told people the biggest opportunity I know, I knew for an average person to go from maybe a job they didn't like or unemployment to something real was social media marketing, specifically starting a social media marketing agency. Now, a lot of people listened. I built like a test group. I trained over 100,000 people. And boy, in hindsight, now everybody knows like social media marketing agencies did very well. Obviously, social media is the marketing platform of choice, choice now. People aren't on TV. So forget all that. 2016, you missed out. What is that prediction I have for 2020? Simple, simple, simple. The opportunity is to become an e-commerce specialist. Now you might say, oh, I already know e-commerce big. No, no, an e-commerce specialist is different. It has three opportunities. When you're an e-commerce specialist, you can become an entrepreneur, you can use it to get a job, or you can use it to build an agency or consulting firm. So you can start as an entrepreneur, your own products you can sell. You can help a company that already uh, you know, needs a chief marketing officer or a chief di digital marketing officer, e-com officer. And then of course you can start a consulting firm where you come into businesses and you manage, you know, or you can even do an agency. E-com specialist, you mark my words. 2016 I said being a social media marketing agency was the way to go. I'm saying now, e-commerce e specialist. Here's why. Well, first of all, go on the Forbes list. Most people forget to look at the Forbes list. You go to the Forbes list and you look at number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, you go all the way through the top 20. What's the number one pattern you see? Remember, you're looking for patterns. You wanna reverse engineer success. You take the blueprint that people followed and you reverse engineer it backwards to wherever you are in life now. Okay, simple. They're mostly e-com people. Number one is Jeff Bezos, richest person in history, depending on what currency you use, but certainly the richest person of our time. Pure e-com. By the way, the definition, my definition of e-com, it doesn't mean you have to sell a physical product, doesn't mean you can't have something delivered. In fact, it just means that the purchase, the transaction happens online and the delivery comes to the door. That's pure e-com. So it, you can be a lawyer and do e-com. You don't require people to come to your law office. You maybe do a Zoom call. That's being, that's legal e-commerce, attorneys type e-commerce. You can sell physical product like Jeff Bezos does. The transactions on a website, the delivery comes to your door. Okay, so I just wanna give that definition. So back to the Forbes list. Number one, Jeff Bezos, certainly e-commerce. Number two, Bill Gates, definitely e-commerce. You know, Microsoft is all products that you buy online and are delivered directly, digital downloads. Now you got Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett's a mix because he has 92 brands. A lot of them though are e-com, okay? He's out now, by the way, the largest Apple shareholder, I think, in the world. Then you have, you know, Google guys. Two wealthy co-CEOs of Google, pure e-com. Then you have Mark Zuckerberg. Mark Zuckerberg, everything he does is e-com. Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp. Steve Ballmer, seventh richest man in the world. He's with Bill Gates. And the list goes on and on. There's a few exceptions, but the majority of people are e-com. So the proof is all there. It comes down to you being like, when do I want to get on this train? Because a lot of people are slow. Jeff Bezos started in 1994. I started in 2001. Some people are like, oh, you're just a social media guy that just popped in in 2015. I'm like, man, I was 14 years before I put my face on social media. I was already doing e-com. Started in 2001, Google ads. 2001, 2002, 
I was building Google AdWords, wall, seeing the market of e-com, just being like, wow, th th that name wasn't even the name we had now. So we knew e-com was gonna dominate by 2030. Everybody knew that, 2040. Nobody was like, ah, oh, people will still be going to stores. No, Amazon will be delivering in drones, dry, you know, driverless cars will be delivering you food. Because anytime things fast forward very quickly, it leaves a lot of people behind. So when you look at your life, you got to go, when the times change, if I don't change with them, economy is ruthless, man. Unfortunately, people think it's capitalism. It's not just capitalism. Everywhere in the world, when trends happen and people and patterns change and people don't change with them. I mean, that was happened back when Henry Ford came out with the car. People who were in the buggy business, horse and buggy, lost a lot of money. They didn't change with the times. You see that in every century for the last thousand years. Some people are slow and they get left behind. And I wish it wasn't that way. I wish we lived in a more forgiving world, but I don't know how to change the world. But I do know that it's not the strongest or the smartest who survive, but it's the most adaptable to the environment in which they find themselves. So ask yourself deep down, like, am I adaptable or am I somebody who, when the world gives me lemons, I just kind of put them in my mouth and go, ooh. Or like the old cliche goes, there's a few people adaptable enough to go, what can I do with a lemon? Psh, mix it with a little sugar, a little water, and now all of a sudden, lemonade. By the way, I, my first business when I was six years old, I started selling cherry tomatoes in San Diego, California. And uh, it's kind of the ghetto part, so my mom didn't want to leave me outside alone, so I could only sell when she could come watch. And then I remember nobody bought these little bags of cherry tomatoes. And then I was like, what about lemonade? Let me get some lemons, sugar. <laughs> My first lesson in marketing. You gotta add a little sugar to whatever you're trying to sell. It's hard to sell bitter pills. So I better turn them lemons into lemonade. So for me, it's like what Charlie Munger and Warren Buffett say. What made them wealthy in 1977, would it work in 1978? And what made them wealthy in 1978 wouldn't work in 79. They said, you must become a learning machine. That is the... And if you look at those two investors, they've averaged 19.5% since 1962. Nobody's done that. You might have a friend who's like, ah, oh, I can do way more than 19% a month. No, you can't. They're basically the highest return investors. And their formula is very simple. The world changes every year. They're not even talking about these big macro trends that we see now. So ask yourself, what are you doing to become a learning machine? Most people just see the news and they react to it. Oh, the world's going to get worse. Well... No, humans will survive. Civilization will survive. I'm an optimist. You gotta be an optimist, man. You gotta be an optimist. Things will get better, but there will be a shift. And so there's an inflection point between the shift in how people buy and how people used to buy will kind of meet and it's almost like tectonic plates. Like they fight and one wins. That's where continents come from, like North America and Australia. It was like this tectonic shift. And you have to ask yourself, like, okay, if you get on the losing side of a tectonic shift, you're buried. So that's where the adaptability comes in. That's where the learning machine comes, where you're at every point. You're like, where is the next shift coming? And how do I get on that side? Well, I told you, practically, e-com specialist. It, I've never come up with something that's more comprehensive if you don't want to start your own business, you become an e-com specialist just to get a job because companies by the tens of thousands are real, even restaurants are realizing we have to have e-com. We need to have, you know, a Shopify store or this. We need to be able to literally sell our product without, maybe our stores will close back up. We can't rely on this. And so everything from restaurants to legal services to realtors, Obviously, grocery stores, fashion brands, you name it, supplement companies that used to have stores, those stores, most of those companies going bankrupt, GNC's going bankrupt, always on the teetering on the levels of bankruptcy. So your, the question is, if I don't want to be an entrepreneur, but I want to catch the next big trend, econ specialist. Now, some of you say, forget it. I don't want to work for other people. I've done that before. Most wealth is created by entrepreneurship. Econ specialist. You're going to have to know what I call the four Ps. Product, pricing, financial, 
promotions marketing, placement delivery. There's four P's of e-commerce. You'll meet some entrepreneur like, oh, I know one or two. Well, look, I have many e-commerce brands. Some of them are pretty big. Like I bought Dress Barn, uh, which is one of the largest clothing, clothing companies by sales in the US, did 740 million in revenue before I bought it last year. It over about 70 million a month it was doing. We bought it and flipped it into an e-com brand. Okay, instead of having 650 department stores, put it all online, easier, delivered to people's door. So I've got experience, I've got a gro online grocery store, farmer's cart, I have mentor box, I have many businesses. In fact, me and my business partners, in the e-com space, we're now in the 10 figures of revenue. So eight figures is 10 million, nine figures is 100 million, 10 figures when you start getting into the big B, the billion. So we're already in that place, playing in that space. We've been doing it for, like I said, way over a decade. We've spent $600 million on Facebook ads, YouTube ads. You've seen me probably on YouTube and Google and Snapchat and Twitter and all these. So we, we, we're already in that space. Some people say, oh, Ty, is that how you make your money, teaching other people how to do stuff? I'm like, no, I make more money doing the actual stuff. I mean, we're shipping. Some people say they're doing e-com. They got 50 sales. I mean, we're doing, you know, tens of thousands of shipments at a time between the different businesses that we have. And so I know the e-com space and that's why I'm telling you the hardest thing. And the reason I'm recording this video is just to share, you know, I've been trying to hire more e-com specialists. They don't exist as entrepreneurs or employees. And there's a lot of people that think they know e-com, but they're not well around. They don't know the four P's. They don't know what PDP is. They don't understand EPL, CPL, EPC, CPC. They don't know what the baseline should be. They don't understand SMS marketing, email marketing, segmentation. They don't understand, you know, sourcing, logistics, 3PLs, versus drop shipping. They don't understand software. There, there's so many things. In fact, there's, you know, 16 core things you need to know for e -com, And each of those, there's subsets of four. If you're talking about there's 64 things you really know to become what I call an e-com specialist. The reason I record this video is I've been trying to hire people from my different e-com companies. I gave up. I was like, I got to train them. I know I, I was just, college isn't helping either. They have digital degrees and all this BS, I call them. Not to sound cocky, but me and my business partner, Alex, have done more e-com sales than I think every professor in the world teaching e-com combined. That's not who you want to learn business from. Some things you can learn from a professor. I like professors. If I want to learn art history, Egyptian history, I learn it. But if I want to learn basketball, I'm not going to go to a college professor. If I want to learn business, I don't learn that from a college professor. It's a big mistake. And that's why, for the most part, the wealthiest people in the world dropped out of college. I'm not saying you should drop out of college. I'm just saying for that one specific thing, like becoming, <laughs> getting on the Forbes list, it's not correlated. That's why Elon Musk is like, that's nah, not correlated. What is correlated is skill, specifically e-com skill. By the way, notice that Elon Musk built Tesla, very e-com-like. There's no car dealerships. You kind of put in your order online and you may go pick it up to for delivery, but not really. It's an e-com play. So Elon Musk is a pretty smart guy. What did he become wealthy from? PayPal, an e-com bank. So he, see, he sees the patterns, he continues on the pattern, and now it's even more relevant to you. So I'm making this video simply because, you know, people have been asking me what's the next big thing and what do I think of the times we live in and what I think of the stock market and I'm like, forget all that, build the e-com skill. I'm telling you, I told people in 2016, a lot of people listened, most people ignored. And there's not one of them that ignored that think I was wrong now. Do you really think building social media marketing skill wasn't a legit business? There's tens of hundreds of thousands of social media marketing companies across the world. I know, I mean, the US government gave me the trademark on SMMA, Social Media Marketing Agency, because they realized I trained a lot of people and it was a legitimate business that people, a, a legitimate set of training. So the thing is, it's more saturated now. 
Social media marketing is still like a good business, but it's more saturated. Would you rather have gotten in in October 2016 when I said, or 2020? Well, early bird gets the worm. When markets get saturated, there's still profit, but not as much. So I shot this video and I was like, I haven't shot a video in a while, that's long. I was like, look, I built a little test group called ECS, Ecom Certified Specialist. I built it to kind of use for interns because I've tried to hire people. I've hired people from Ivy League schools, Ivy League, right? That's like Harvard, Yale, these type of schools. I've already fired them. Not to say that those are bad schools. I'm just saying, um, like an Amish guy told me, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make a drink. You could send a boy to college, but you can't make him think. You're going to have to think in this game. You're going to have to have a real skill. Ecom's like a chess game. And you can't just come with a little, you know, like, hey, you know, I, I went to college for chess. You got to be like, look, I'm in the trenches playing chess at the tournaments. That's how you get recognition. It's the same with Ecom. So I created this, you know, four month program that I use on interns and staff. Divided into 16 lessons, goes through the four P's, product, pricing, promotions, placement, gives them that well-rounded, and now they can work for me. And some of them, some people work for me, and then they go on. I have many people have worked for me and now go off to become e-com entrepreneurs. In fact, my best friend Jeremy from when I was two years old, he came and worked for me for five years. He met a girl who was working for me. They got married. They launched an e-com brand called um, Omen All. It's a clothing brand out of the UK. He's never worked a day in his life since. In fact, I haven't seen him. He he just travels around the world. He's in Bali right now through all this. And it's not a company that's making 100 million bucks a year, but it makes some, I don't know the exact amount, but it makes them probably 50, 60,000 a month, you know, profit. I don't know those numbers update, but I know it's significant amount compared to the average person. And we're not prompt, I'm not saying if you go through and learn e-com like my test group, you're going to become like my friend Jeremy. I'm just telling you, like I built this training and my best friend <laughs> took it and transformed his life. He was studying to become a lawyer and then he came. So forget that, I'm gonna come work with you, die. So I've been building this, but I've never formalized it until last Friday, I put this thing out and I was like, let me just share this with the world, see if anybody wanted to get in. I did one Zoom live call, 700 people showed up and like people were pouring into it. So I've built this step-by-step, -step, 16 week training. At the end of the 16 weeks, there's an exam. If you pass it, you get a certification, Ecom Certified Specialist. Now it's not a college degree. I didn't go to college, so I'm not gonna give you a college degree, but it's a legitimate certification that you can use for yourself and it'll open some doors. A lot of people know me, know that I know e-com, know that I understand the game of online. And so it would open a door if it came to work for me, it'll open some doors. But ultimately what opens the doors is you having a real skill set. Now's the time to retrain the brain. Get in on this. So I'm gonna put a link below or here in the corners. Um, you can click it, go read about how the test group works, go read about the four month e-commerce certified specialist program see if it's for you. I got some rules. You got to take this seriously. Like I've done it where I just open it up to the world and people don't take it seriously. And it's just like, this is one that's going to get saturated. So first come first serve, you know, I'm gonna put this link. It's open for three more days. Now I'll go through some questions people have, you know, common questions. Like, how do I know this will work for me? Like, how much does it cost? Why does it cost money? Da, 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 da. Um, you know, is there a refund policy? What if I don't, how many hours a, a week do I need to spend on this? I don't have a lot of time. Maybe I'm busy. What happens if I fail the, the, the exam at the end? Okay, so let me just go through this real quick. Some common questions. The most common question is like, how do I know this will work for me? A couple of things. Look, I've trained, I think for an individual personal brand, I've had more people go through my training than I think anybody in history. It's hard for me to exactly verify that, but I've had over, you know, several hundred million people watch my free business training. My YouTube channel just passed 2.6 billion minutes watch, something like that. Um, and then 
you know, my paid programs, I've had, I don't even know the number, but let's just underestimate, let's say five, 600,000 people have gone through. That's a lot, just in the last five years. Like most universities have like 40,000 people go through per year. I've, I'm averaging 100,000 people. So I, I know how to, I know what works and what doesn't work. I've launched some things and I've learned, ooh, that didn't work. And we continually adjusted and adapted. This program is badass. This is real deal. You mark my words. You miss out on this one, and it'll just be like 2016. The people will miss out on SMMA. They'll be like, it'll be 2024. They'll be like, will this still work? And I'll be like, yeah, but it's more saturated now. You can use this to launch your own business, your own e-com, sell your own products. You can use it to get a job, and you can use it to be a consultant or launch an agency. So there's, there's multiple angles on it. Um, another common question. Okay, why do I charge money for it? Well, if I made this a free training because I've done that before, a million people will go through it this year. If you want that level of competition, um, I, I can make it free. But I've also learned, like, I've made stuff free. Like, I had a free three-day training thing. Average person went through half of one video. When people pay for stuff, they go through it more. Like my 67 steps video, people paid 67 bucks and got 67 videos averaging 30, 45 minutes. People got through the whole thing. They're like, well, I paid for it and they got the value. So I, I track success stories and case studies and testimonials. I don't get that many testimonials from free stuff. Like I optimize around testimonials. Some people think, oh no, I don't believe you're just doing it to make money. Okay, whatever you think, you know? I. I make more revenue from e-com brands that I own, that I don't teach about. Because it's been a thing, oh, Ty, you only get rich by teaching other people how to get rich. No, it's a good theory, it makes people feel better about themselves. I teach this stuff partly because there's profit in it. I mean, let's be honest. I got employees to pay, health insurance, like I'm not gonna, why would I go in my own pocket to teach? But, that's not the only reason. I genuinely enjoy the business that I have in the in the training space just because it's cool to get testimonials every single day. It's cool to go out in public and people are like, hey, I want you to know that your 67 steps or SMMA changed my life. Like, not a bad business. A lot of businesses suck. You get people mad at you all the time. Well, this isn't one of them. So, sure, I've gotten flack and People go, oh, is this a get rich quick scene? Notice I haven't told you you're gonna get rich from this. In fact, I can pretty much tell you you're not gonna get on the Forbes list. Not everybody can be a billionaire. Not even everybody can be a millionaire, but I have a firm conviction that financial independence through e-com can be achieved in almost any country. Cause that's a common question. Ty, what if I don't live in the US? Or what if I live in a small town in the US? So it's e-com, why does it matter where you live? If I lived in Nepal or Bangladesh or I live in Botswana or I lived in Poland or if I live in Saskatchewan, Canada, e-com, you could sell, I could sell right into the U.S. U.S. is the largest economy or the EU or Australia. I would go into the easy economies first. If I lived in Brazil, if I lived in Africa, if I lived in Australia, if I lived in India. So e is a beautiful thing because it levels, it makes the world flat. People say, what if I'm young? What if I'm old? With e -com, when you buy something on Amazon, do you look how old the seller is, or if they're gay, female, male. No, you don't care. You can look at that ethnicity. It's all so beautiful thing about e-com, it levels the playing field. So don't worry about your age. This program is powerful, even if you're in a part of the world or a, a, a demographic that's, uh, that's uh, discriminated against. He calms the great leveler, man. Nobody cares. You could be ugly. You could be overweight. You could be 80 years old. I mean, a lot of these econ people getting older. Charlie Munger's in the game. He's 92, I think. Now, another common question is, is there a refund policy? Yes. Got a 30-day refund policy. The first 30 days, I call a 30-day challenge where we give you the big overview, get you started. We even have another level once you're inside where we'll help you build a Shopify store or you can build it on your own. Um, and then, you know, level two, you get more advanced. We get into the financial side of things. We get into forming, you know, what kind of entity should you form? How do you set up the business? Should you raise capital? 
And so it's kind of getting, how do you determine the product you should sell, the pricing, should you use ClickFunnels, should you use Shopify, should you use WordPress, should you use, you know, there's all these different platforms. We talk about the digital platforms like the Kajabis and the, and the Teachables and things like that. Okay. Then we're going to get into the marketing side, the Facebook, the YouTube, the Snapchat, the email marketing, the SMS, the viral video marketing. You know, should you, uh, sometimes people ask me like, okay, Ty, on marketing, you know, what's better? Facebook ads or YouTube? We'll get into all that. Google Shopping, we'll talk about. Okay. And then the last month we get into a little more technical stuff. You do not need to learn how to be a computer programmer, but you need to understand the basics of the app world, about the plugins on places like Shopify, if that's what you're, if you're selling a digital product. We'll talk about Amazon, how to sell on Amazon, deliver massive, the largest marketplace in the world. And it's multiple teachers. Obviously, I'm gonna be teaching. Uh, my business partner, Alex, Dr. Dr. Alex is gonna be teaching. He just sold his company, his e-com company for $300 million in August, rang the New York Stock Exchange bell. A lot of million, millions of people watched. I went there to, to cheer him on. Um, we got my business partner, Rudy, taking businesses from 10 to 100 million. We got uh, Adrian Morrison and different people that I know. Basically, anybody who I consider a black belt, meaning they've done like over 100 million in e-com, I'm letting them come and teach. But primarily, it's four different people teaching you. Um, you're going to go step by step. You need The common question is, how much time do I need for this? So I'd like to be able to devote at least an hour a week, okay? Now, you don't have to complete it in four months. You have up to one year, okay? So year to year program. Well, I didn't want to give people, I don't want people going, oh, I'm going to do this over 10 years. No, four to 12 months maximum, okay? So if you want to take 12 months, you can just do less time per week. If you want to go through it real fast, you can spend three, four hours a week. But you break it up, 30 minutes a day. We have easily downloadable lessons, video or audio. You can do it while you're on the treadmill. You can do it while you're jogging. You can do it while you're, you know, doing the dishes or cooking. And then some people ask about the, the quiz. By the way, I'm going to put this link below. You have less than three days. So some people are asking, like, why do you, there's a certain amount of days left? I want to create a test group. I want to get a focus group of people in, close it, and take that group. And so in this test group, there's going to be benefits to this test group that nobody else has gotten. So you snooze, you lose. I've also learned, you know, it's just like you go to the grocery store and they have like coupons, like this is 10% off today. So there's a reason and people, this is for those of you on the fence, let this be a motivation. You might miss out on it. I found that that works better and not trying to be cheesy. And, but you know, every store in the world has timelines if you want to get something. Amazon too. Let that be a lesson to you about e-com. Um, what's another common question? What if you can't afford it? Well, then you can go and look, you can learn e-com on YouTube. You can learn e-com here, here, forums. It's just, if you want it all put together in a step-by-step -step program, you're not going to find that anywhere. Also, you're not going to find, I don't know anybody teaching e -com. I mean, you should learn from Jeff Bezos, but I don't think he has a test group. You should learn from Mark Zuckerberg. So, I don't have their credentials, but I don't know anybody online that has the credentials that we have. I mean, you can Google Ty Lopez USA Today dress barn. You'll see, made one of the big big acquisitions 2019. Ty Lopez New York Post Blue Apron about me competing to buy Blue Apron, another huge e-com business. Um, about me bidding to buy Forever 21 in January. So, so. I'm not, you know, these are companies that are doing seven, 800 million forever 21. We, I, I was, didn't win the bid. I got outbid, but I was right at the table to buy $3.5 billion revenue company with massive e-com. So my point being is like, I can tell you, you can look around and try to learn this on your own, but you're not going to get people with credentials because they don't exist that much in the world. Ecom's new. You might think it's old, it's still new. It's old for Jeff Bezos, but the average business owner, the average individual, they might know social media marketing, but they don't know e-com. e is e different. You can be good at social media and make no money. I know so many social media influencers that don't know e-com, so they have millions of followers, but their bank account's like, 
You're going, wait a second, like, <laughs> you want, social media marketing is part of this. We'll be talking about that. But we're talking about the framework of like, how does it work with e -com? That's what you need. So I don't think there's that much more I have to say. Late at night, I just want to record this, announce the test group, snooze you lose. You could try it on your own. Certainly people have figured out e-com without this program. Just makes it easier. Um, if you can't afford it, that's fine. I missed out on things too all the time. Can't afford. I mean, lots of stuff. That never ends, unfortunately. There's always limited capital in the world. It's a cool little econ product. You know what's a good econ product? Water bottles like this. I need to drink water after giving this nonstop talk. So anyway, I made the prediction. I wanted to put that out there on YouTube, on Facebook, all over the place so people know. 2020, Ty called it again. Become a real deep domain e-commerce specialist. Get a certification, it'll help you. It gives you something to move forward towards and gives you the achievement of a goal. If you fail the exam, you can you gotta wait a week and then you can take it again. We're not out to get you, but it's not a BS exam that you can just like, it's not gonna be like true false questions that are obvious to choose, right? So focus, accomplish something, man. Go in three days, click the links. For those of you get in, you will immediately start. You got immediate access to the course. We have the ability where you can schedule a call with my team, kind of go a little further. We've got some more advanced stuff. For those of you who are a little more advanced, um, you'll see that you click the button, you go to the page, it's a 256-bit SSL encrypted page. It's the safest, I mean, it's safe. Nobody sees your credit card, we don't see the number. Um, and as quickly as you fill that out and get in, you're in. Begin to learn today. Don't procrastinate. As I told you, there are weeks, there are decades when nothing happens and there are weeks where decades happen. Time's flying. Like that's the thing about the, the world. So it's not always flying for the best. So you better turn those lemons in lemonade. You better turn the dislocation of business and employment into... Like I said, with Charlie Munger and Warren Buffett, you becoming a learning machine. That's the way out. Learn something. The more you learn, the more you earn. So for those of you who listen, good luck. And if you don't believe me, that's fine. We'll see who's right in a couple of years.